<laughs> Yo, ho, ho. <clears throat> well, everything's just kind of terrible right now. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go back to playing a silly little Zelda game. Um, I'm not going to change my background. I, maybe, it, should I get rid of the witch hat? Hmm. No, you know what? I'm just going to keep the witch hat. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see. Let's let's update my title here for what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Alright. We are still playing Legend of Zelda. Uh Halloween is over, but I'm keeping the spooky stuff, at least for now. Um, because well, why not? I mean, sure. <laughs> oh, I haven't been back to playing games, partially because it is really busy for me after Halloween. And uh, I kind of threw my back out. So I have been kind of um, dealing with some major back pain. Uh, let's put, let's actually make use of my footstool here. Yep, let's go back to the ancient ruins. See what we can... Oh, I've got... Whoops. Yes, actually. I've got some... Uh, got some hearts that are down for the count. Ooh. Yeah, so... <clears throat> we're just going to be playing some cozy games. Uh, we're not going to do anything serious. Because, um, quite frankly, uh, escaping the video games is just going to be what I'm going to be doing for a while. Uh, probably for a good long while, honestly. That and I actually found the Cherries Jubilee Andy's Candies. And I've just got a box of them on my desk. Because uh, I'm not sharing these. These are so hard to come by. And I found them, so I'm, I'm going to savor each and every one. Mm. While we go save our would-be boyfriend... Maybe. No. Oh. No, oh, we got some slime. Okay. Does this look green? Does this look kind of green to you? Is it supposed to look like that? Oh, the hearts are red and the bar is blue. Okay. Maybe it is supposed to look like that. Into the hole. Mm. Oh, the cherries, Andes. Candies are so good. Mm. And we're actually going to take a moment to look, huh? Oh! <clears throat> oh, that's a giant black ball of, of plasma. Okay. Oh, is... Are we in end boss time? Are we actually in? Are we actually in the in, in the end zone here? Have we have we reached the the last two minutes of the fourth quarter? Not that I like American football or anything, because I'm actually not a fan. But you know, <sighs> all right. Is there anything anything over here? I'm not. I'm not sure I actually want to take the obvious path, truth be told. Um, what? What items do I have on? I need that. Um... You know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's put that on. Looks like a Cthulhu dude. Do 
it here, buddy. Hold on. Well done. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Where's my bed? You know what? I should just pull out my bed, honestly. Oh, oh, that's last learned. No, I don't want that. I actually want last used. Where's my cheap bed? There's my cheap bed. We're gonna, we're just gonna lie down for a second. So, uh, the American election was kind of, kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, I, I was a little surprised, honestly. Um, well, I was surprised in one way, not surprised in another. I, oh, okay. My, my little dude just kind of tried to go into the water and kill some fish. Didn't really work out that well. Um, all right. You know what? First, let's do, <gasps> oh, that was, that was great. Okay. Let's try that again. Well, oh. where is my palm thing? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, okay. I need another bed. Hmm. All right. Better just done. It's kind of giving the impression there's something else over here. Maybe not. There is something down there, though. Which makes me go, huh. Huh. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that.
Oh, okay. I don't think she's going to be like that then. What? Oh my god. Okay. What? What are these damn things that are just... Yeah. This is ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Uh, okay. I'm not really finding anything over here, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Switch maps. There's really no maps to switch. Oh. I actually can switch to the overworld map. Okay. Well, that... I don't actually jump when I give you the command to jump or anything. I just... Whoops. It actually slid out. Okay. I mean, that's useful. Slide right off it, why don't you? I'm gonna wick up, whip out my big Zelda bed. It's my... Where's my big Zelda bed? Oh. Okay. Uh. There it is. Whoa. 
Great. That is not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do. Holy crap. stopped <laughs> it worked I stopped whoop crap I forgot, I changed it.
not entirely sure how that happened, but whatever. Wow, does that legitimately go nowhere? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I guess. to do. I, why does it seem like there's the, just nothing here? Like, there's literally no treasure. There's nothing. It seems like there's just nothing. So you were the hero after all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Link, Link the great swordsman d d destined to be the uh, something, something. I, I honestly don't. It's kind of complicated. He's supposed to protect the kingdom while I protect the kingdom or something. I, I, I don't know. Well, here you are. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that she wanted us to show up here. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. What can we get for two? <sighs> oh, well.
was kind of worried that she was going to throw some... Oh. Okay. Getting more and more beast. out those damn frogs. They are a problem with a capital P. Drink that. I don't need the glow, but whatever. Okay. Did. I was going to say, we. there's no way we actually did that. There we go. Yep. Had to actually target it. Never really used the target thing before. <laughs> Yay! We saved my would-be boyfriend. <laughs> It is time. Sure, let's do this. Is 
into the garbage chute, flyboy. So, how do I just switch between Zelda and Link? Or is Link just... Or is Link just... Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what is happening? Why am I glowing? And then I remember, no, I actually am glowing. <laughs> I'm glowing with holy light. This floor is a little... This floor is a little ick. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. This floor is a little ick. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're coming, bud. Right behind you. Nope. Oh, we found level one. Oh, you know what? I actually haven't fought a Lionel yet. Oh, and I'm getting my ass kicked. I got it. I got it. Oh, that's energy recovery only. You know what? That's fine. I'll drink this. Drink this. And drink that. Whew. Okay. So it. Link is just computer assisted. Got it. Shit. Okay. Is this... One of these guys. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Sweet. Apparently it's a ladder down. Not it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I can't actually go down. Okay. Dad. 
That is not what I wanted. Okay. Go away. Yep. Where's my trampoline? There we go. is not actually what I am looking for. Okay. Now you know what? I think I know what I need. My stupid spider. Where's my spider? There it is. That'll drop. Okay. Crap. Crap! Oh, too close. Too really? Okay. Ah, come back. Come back.
Can I switch to Link? No, j no joke. Can I actually do that? Uh huh. There's apparently a couple of controls I have not exit. Oh, I can change the difficulty settings. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, I just have the lockup key. I got two fairies. Um. Hmm. Nope, it doesn't go through the bars. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, well, you know what? Let's try this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wait. Oh. Oh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, Link. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I can't kill you with a boulder. Okay. Um, we need something smaller. Nope, that's not, that's not going to do it. Okay. No, oh, I just picked that one up. Okay. Still something smaller. Okay. Uh. No, no. Wait. Hold on. My ghost weirdly worked before. Where's my ghost? Where's my ghost? Hmm. I don't, I don't see why I can't see that button right there. Hmm. Wait, can I pick up a link? Oh, I can go right up against this.
Yep. Okay. I actually had to get Link up there. Okay. Well, that was weird. All right, let's uh, put this guy back on. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's drink that just to get rid of it. Um. Yeah, let's do this. I have not changed out of my adventuring gear. I could have. I could have put my royal gear back on, but... Why, why this long hallway? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> There's nothing here. Oh, we got to jump down, it looks like. Oh, okay. Well, <sighs> well, there's the Zelda puppet. How vexing. Then again, you've come here and brought the prime energy directly to me. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yep. Got a giant boar thing again. Oop. Oh, we seem to have upset the Deku tree. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is just, this is actually void. This isn't like Ganondorf or Ganon or whatever the frick we're calling it. No, this is, this is actually, this is actually the void. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it basically wants to turn the entire universe into a giant black hole. So, my guy, there, it's a Triforce for a reason. You've only got one part of the triangle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's just it. You don't have all the power. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the goddesses reside within me. It's a it's a thing. Oh, okay. Are we just gonna be a giant floating eyeball? Okay. Well, Every little metal mecha eye thing. Okay. Hold on.
I just kind of stand back and let Link deal with most of this. Okay. And you know what? I could actually stand to get one of these out. Yikes. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm going to pull out. Uh. Where? Where's my guy? Where's my guy? And this guy. All right, it's time for phase three. Get back on this guy. They curve ever so slightly now. Okay. Good to know. Oh. Damn it. reaching for me. No! Snag that heart before it disappears. No, we are going to be entering in phase four at this point, because this is major boss. We have, yeah, yeah, Kind of figured they must have more. Mm. No, this is escaping. Hurry! I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Oh, crap. <sighs> All right, looks like I don't have Link for last phase. Oh, no. Oh, he's got little dudes.
Oh, we are underwater, I guess. Oh, I need shark. Where's my sharky shark? I can create two of these guys. Go get him, buddy. Holy crap. I don't suppose I have a swimming potion. Chill proof, fireproof. Dive time! Yes, actually. Thank you. <laughs> I will accept that. Buddy. I honestly thought I was swimming in air. I'm not swimming in air. I'm in a fluid of some sort. Probably whatever internal fluids are in this thing. Oh, we're just going to go through just, just multiple phases of this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm unconscious now. Nope, no, I'm not. I'm up. No, I get, oh, yeah, we are just in the body of this. We are actually in the body of this thing. Okay. Or whatever physical manifestation it has.
Mostly just the running around and avoiding getting hit phase again. Just keep my guys regenerating. Okay, that's fun. Okay, which phase is this? Five, six? Curiosity. What have we got? this anymore.
not get captured. Got it. Oh, that was that was some sneaky assery. Out of nowhere, why don't you? Now we're just going to throw everything at us now. Got it. To avoid. Nope. Couldn't avoid him. Okay. Get, get him, P-Hat. Not of my P-Hat. Oh! Oh, hells! Are we done? Have we finished? Have we defeated the creature in the chaos? Gimme, give gimme give that, gimme that. Mash time, mash time, mash time. Yeah, sorry, man. You, uh... You, like I said, you only had one part of the Triforce. Oh, we'll give it to you. We will absolutely give it to you. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah.
And thus, the universe is restored. <laughs> the, oh, the, the chicken. The chicken just standing there going, what? <laughs> or the cucko, as they call them. Um, I, I wouldn't be sure of that, buddy. Our, so, are, are you sure the goddesses should return to slumber? I just, I, I it's, it's a random thought that it popped into my head. What's wrong, Zelda? <sighs> well, uh. Yeah, you're a good, great little guy. Oh, I'll miss you. Yeah. I'm feeling thank you. Okay, that's not quite a feeling. I mean, you can feel thankful, I guess, but not thank you. Uh, your, your, your language dictation could use a little more help, buddy. Aww. Thanks, man. Bye, try.
everybody! Everybody! It's the swordsman and the princess! They fixed the rifts! Hyrule is safe again for now! Yay! Hi, Impa. So much has happened. I have so much to tell you. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Move my mic a little bit. I think it's getting lost in the fabric of my t-shirt. There we go. Really? We're not even going to get dialogue boxes? We just have to imagine what's being said. Okay. <laughs> I guess. We slightly shift to Zelda, who is the center of the game. Oh, that's actually a good image of the staff. I can actually, I can see the bottom of it really well now. That's good to know. It actually is like a, a double helix all the way until it just kind of merges in the end. That's good to know. Not for anything specifically. Oh, look! I was going to say it's the three peoples of Hyrule, but we're actually missing the, the uh, Gorons. I don't, see the, I don't see a Goron here. I still don't, <laughs> I still don't see a Goron. What? The fish god listening to the music. The master of aminals. I really wish the horses were more useful. <laughs> they give you, they give you the ability to ride your horses, and you go on a whole quest to get your horse, but like they're useless. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that, that was Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. That was, honestly, I, this was a pretty short game. Uh, I'm not sure how many hours I sunk into it. Um, but uh, compared to, to the last ones I've played that were not just remakes of previous Zelda games. Um, like, I, I, I got Skyward Sword and original Twilight Princess for the Wii. Um, this, this was, this really was kind of a bit of a throwback to a, a bit of a more simplistic Zelda game, while at the same time having some very complicated mechanics and uh, builds that you, that you have to pro uh, problem solve your way through. Like I was, like I, I I had no idea that I could actually just pick up Link. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, I, there's something I haven't tried yet. Can I pick up Link? Because I fig, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. God, I not, I'm not going through that nonsense of going through my dreams and picking up a sword. That's, no. No. I mean, I might... I might actually then be able to start swinging a sword and hitting enemies. But there's no way that I'm actually going to be able to do that. There's, there's a couple of just absolutely impossible tasks. Particularly in, um, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Like when you are, when you have to go 
completely naked with none of your abilities into uh, the one cave and take down a bunch of enemies and you have no weapons, you have no powers, you have three hearts. That's it. And so you're you're screwed. And I <laughs> I I'm not sure who has been able to do it, but they probably haven't been able to do it the regular way. And what I mean is by the regular way is they actually go in there and without cheating and clipping and doing all the things um the only thing you can really do is try and take out enemies at a distance which is really hard to do when you don't have weapons and you don't have bombs and you don't have any of your bomb making abilities i i'm missing a couple of stamps i don't know where they are I'll probably look them up at some point and finish that task. And just to see what you get. There's... I have all my outfits. There's a couple of weapons I haven't gotten. I know the sword is one of them. I think it's kind of weird that you're given the ability to knock back opponents when you spin for an attack. But if you can't attack, how can you actually hit an opponent? It seems weird. I don't know. I haven't I haven't actually changed my stick. Can I can I actually hit opponents with my stick as a weapon? And this guy that makes the automatons. I I wanted to actually try the automatons in the final battle. Especially the one that all it does is just blow up. But honestly, I don't think that... I don't really... I don't think it's going to be anymore. Especially since you have to go get them repaired. How is that more useful than creating your, your little shadow creatures? I don't... That does not... That makes no sense to me whatsoever. None. The only... The only thing I can really think of is that it doesn't add to the power getting sucked away from Try, so it basically can give you another creature. I wonder if I can play as Link now. Is the game actually over? Do I... Can I... Aww. Impa and my horsey. Um, it, can I actually play as Link now? Can I do that? Since we have reached endgame stat? Or are you basically going to say, hey, we're not going to allow you to save at the end game?" And there I am, back in my royal regalia. Actually, the, the advisor would be a rather comfortable cosplay costume, too. <gasps> My kitty! Uh. What's my cat looking at? Oh. The staff on the wall. That's nice. It's actually a good picture of it. The end. Yay. Heck yeah. Okay. Yep. Nope. It isn't going to save it.
it isn't going to save it as completed. I have to go back and yeah. Okay. I really wish we could actually play these games at the end game, guys. Keys and echoes. <sighs> no. Can I? If if I like duck out, do I take Link with me? No. I'm curious. No. No. Oh. Oh, okay. What are you thinking about? Or are you... Oh, or maybe he's just smoking a pipe. Because he's kind of doing a... Huh. And he could... I'm sparkling. Oh, that's right, I'm glowing. Yeah, it, it auto-saved when I was glowing. Yeah, okay. Hi. <laughs> Just take a nap if you get tired. You know what? That's a good idea. This has been a long adventure. Oh, I'm just still glowing. Yeah, you know what? This a good place to save save okay well that is Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom sure is okay well you know what that was nice that was a good game I'm glad I spent the money on that it was it was a little easy, honestly. I think I might turn up. I have no idea that there was a level of difficulty involved. So, you know what? Uh, we have saved. I'm going to swap out the game because I just got another game today. Uh, a new used game. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to try that out. Give me a sec.
Heck yeah. We got some Poirot. <laughs> Nothing like a little mystery murder stuff to be super cozy. Because let's face it, Agatha Christie is actually just kind of cozy, cozy fiction. Yeah, okay, people get murdered and stuff, but they are, they are usually jerks who kind of, uh, for one reason or another, theoretically deserve what they get. So, you know, so, oh, this is just, this is just going to take a while, isn't it? Eight minutes from, it's been sitting on that eight minutes for a while. Uh, okay. Well, fine, I guess. Killing me. Kill nine minutes remaining. Oh, what is the other human in this house doing? Are they, are they freaking loading another video or something? And it's just taking a while. Ugh. All right. So, this is a rather, this is a rather skinny Poirot we've got going on here. Uh, the, the Poirot of the novels is, ex looks exactly like David Suchet. He's short, he's balding, got a rather fine mustache, um, and round as an egg. That that tends to be Agatha Christie's description of him. He's egg-shaped. Um, and uh, in order to achieve that look, Suchet uh, wears a bodysuit uh, in the um, Poirot series and... Uh, miniseries films that were on for many many years particularly in the u.s um, on pbs in some areas they're still airing around here they are not i'm kind of annoyed by it because there's a lot there's a lot of episodes that have really only aired once around here or aired hardly at all and it's kind of annoying um there, there was a new, new Poirot series that didn't, that didn't really go over well with fans. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal was. I actually didn't really catch any of them. Um, I saw the, the original Murder on the Orient Express film that was, or at least the one that was re released U.S. wide to audiences back in the... 70s i wanna say i honestly don't know it's been a long time um and then i cu caught the uh film length episode uh with david Suchet, which had a very different feel to it very different feel um they he's he's such a good actor it poirot was angry and miserable by the end of that and he's just like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care what you do with this. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care that the bloody lot of you are all a bunch of murderers. I am cold and I am hungry and I am going home. Whatever the lot of you decide to do, fine. I'm walking away from all of this. And that's what happens. Um, which is, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, no. Don't you, don't you do that. I could just start the software, but I, I don't know. There could be DLCs and stuff involved, so. Or they, they could, there could be major issues that are getting fixed because no game can actually be released and not have massive software problems because that's just how we do things. Um, yeah. And, uh... Branagh's, Kenneth Branagh's uh, new Poirot is okay. I, I rather like it. I'm kind of glad that he, he and his editors chose to cut back some of the scenes that show him kind of fussing over his facial hair more than he already does. Uh and what, what's really kind of funny is that, the, I mean, Poirot is, is a dandy. 
that is you you that's how he's described he has he is a consummate groomer he ta- he puts a lot of of thought and effort into styling his mustache his hair keeps himself as clean as neat as possible and he does have a full uh, essentially grooming kit um with all with like mustache oil and and pomade and everything that you would have in in the time period that is described um Branagh kind of went a little crazy with it with like this weird mustache styling thing which actually which which was a product that was available at the time I there, there's some behind the scenes stuff um for murder on the orient express uh where Branagh talks about items that were available for sale that you could you could carefully you could carefully groom and style your stash and protect it while you sleep and I was just yeah yeah that's hilarious okay we are ready to play um no idea what this game is like I am going in completely cold let's find out the first cases. The first cases, by the way, which are now available uh, on public domain. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, Agatha Christie's first Poirot stories and novels are now all available to public domain. So they're, they're probably all stuff that they just didn't have to purchase the rights for. Yeah, the Poirot in the middle here is is not... This game will auto-save data at various points. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's normal. New game. Let's do this. Uh, ZL and ZR to zoom the camera. Okay. I'm assuming... I am going to assume that this is a point-and-click adventure game. I'm just going to assume that. I'm going to assume that's what this is. That we are collecting items and taking notes. And pay attention to the... Uh, maybe something new to tell you. Okay. Deduction hints reveal all linkable nodes in the mind map. Ugh. Mind map? Oh, Lord. No. We are not doing that. Oh, are we actually going to deal with the background of Poirot a bit? A lot of, a lot of games don't do that. Uh, Poirot was a uh, police detective. In the uh, Belgian police, uh, yeah, Brussels, Brussels Police Department, um, and then he was during the Great War. He uh, was recruited potentially for CIA kind of stuff. It's not really gone into in the background material. Um, he did some, but we do know that he. Uh, he did some things during the war that has that's kind of left him with PTSD um it's it wasn't called PTSD at the time it was called uh, shell shock um technically it, because he really wasn't defied orders and acted with the thought of the with no thought of the consequences yeah that sounds like Poro honestly uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Poirot uh, does have a habit of just rules. I don't abide by rules. I only do what the, the law instructs and are we actually a beat cop <gasps> oh my god <laughs> oh <sighs> I love this already I hope this doesn't get Bonjour, mademoiselle. How can Bonjour. I... It has become a madhouse. Madame has been shouting and cursing all morning. I've never seen her so angry. Please, try to remain calm. We don't have time for that. Please, hurry. Uh, actually giving your name might be great. 
Oh, there's an open window. I see a bunch of pipes. Maybe that's the kitchen. Kitchen on the second floor, the, the bracelet. Oh. Mademoiselle Jewelry is missing. I must okay. insist on your name before I can continue any further. Uh, I am Elizabeth, but it is the maid servant that we must consider. <gasps> oh my god. We're we're actually going to start a case with Poirot in in the Brussels Police Department. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I stand out so obviously. Are you I'm new to this? Ah, okay. I can't skip. Um, that's the only I question I've got that. listed, so that's what I'm going to. There's been a theft. Yeah. Ah, exactly uh, let me guess. A bracelet is missing. Then I am exactly where I should be, n'est-ce pas? Uh, could you... Do you have a list of all the items that were taken? Does the house have any suspicion as to who is... Well, let's, uh, let's talk about... Most valuable bracelets. Yeah. Then it's One of a valuable bracelet. Does the Madame house have any suspicions? Floret. Who's Florette? Madame de Van de Bo Bo Bosch? Bo? Bosch? Bosch? Lady of the house believes Florette is behind it. Who's Florette? Who's Florette? Is she a maid? Is she a cook? What that I I know Madame. I have questions. Cat! As Mademoiselle believed. Oh, my cat is screaming, and I have turned off the mic controls again. I don't remember. What did I use? Nope, not that. Not that. Wait, I think I remember. Yep. Okay, I did. I did alt. All right. Because I don't use really alt for anything, but I do occasionally use control because I'm cut, copying and pasting. Uh, I, I'm afraid I do. I know Madame is confident of Florette's guilt. By the way, these are pro these are probably this sounds like a group of British citizens that are living in Brussels, honestly. Um, which wouldn't entirely be surprising, honestly, especially since Brittany is. A, a city in France that is kind of still sort of beholden to the crown of England. It's complicated, but yeah. This is, uh, we, we're in like the German Republic phase right now, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm Merci just, I'm going Marie. to guess that the, <clears throat> yeah. Party of the Fuhrer has not gained foothold yet. Okay. Okay, we have a mind palace thing happening here with our notes. Great. All right. Um... An objective is launched. Okay, so at least we don't have to take notes. At least the notes appear automatically, because that's kind of a pain when you actually have to make the notes yourself. Oh, Elizabeth reported theft. Uh, beloved piece seems to be worth a great deal. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, all right. Yep, this is going to op operate exactly like every other... Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's how we do it. That's how we move the camera. Okay, got it. 
can we actually move the camera or are we stuck in this we are stuck in this position okay okay we are stuck in this position um huh you know what i'm just i'm gonna adjust my footstool here see if i can because i keep moving away from my mic and i don't want to do that oh there's my cosplay boots that i actually am swapping out for different cosplay boots okay that that'll be better i think yeah okay Clues that may have been on the path itself. Can I walk in here? I can walk in here. Uh, so what will happen if there's a clue? Okay. Huh. We do have a ladder. What can we climb the ladder? Nope, we're gonna go under the ladder. Oh no. Oh no. That's but that's some bad luck right there. I I would like to point out that they didn't let me actually come out from the other side of the ladder. Um I a ladder to the roof is actually kind of important. Are, are, can we, can we, can we take note of this? Is, is this something we can take note of? Like, can we, is this, no, we're not going to do that? Okay. I would think a ladder actually sitting on the roof is kind of important, but whatever. All right, I guess. I guess. We, okay, we have collision here with shrubbery. We, do we just, can we, no, we can't, we can't, uh. nope, all right, nope, nothing. Okay, let's try the other side of the house, I guess. I can't try the other side of the house, I guess. All of the plants are all... Oh, they, they all are like walls. They're all like walls. Okay. Ah. Okay. Press Y to view your objectives. Okay. Okay. I found the footprints. Lawn garden. I mean, there's some water. Oh, overgrown grass. Okay. There's some water here, though. Yeah. I have enough evidence to make my first deduction. Do I though? I mean, Alta. Oh. 
what you actually have to physically link these things. Oh, okay. So we're not taking notes, but we have to actually link the chain of evidence. <sighs> okay. All right. So we talk to Elizabeth again about the muddy footprints. The pool's different now. How can I help? One set must be mine, leading to find you. The other set must be Florette's. She was caught in. There is Sir Luke, but he was called away from the house on a personal matter. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistant. Hmm. Okay. Do I actually have to get? Oh, I actually do have to click it. Okay. That is the way to solve. Okay. So we just we continue inspecting the garden, I guess. All right. Did Florette and the cook bugger off to get married? That seems like a thing that would happen. <clears throat> yeah, overgrown grass. That's all well and good, but can I can I look at the water? Can I look at the okay. Nope, that's not I already looked at that. about the planters nothing in the planters okay Wouldn't trust it with my weight. Huh. Yep, sure has. Oh. Okay, this is one of those games. Open window. Ah, 
I can see the open window from here. Yeah. This is one of those games where you have to do things in order, isn't it? How can I help? May we? The carving on the bench. Forgive me, I was not... Oh, uh, of course not. Yes. <laughs> I... Would you know the identity of the mysterious... I'm afraid not. Perhaps they were old residents. A pair of star-crossed lovers, perhaps. Madame does not Madame allow, does not allow distracting staff Love relationships. Not something that can be harnessed. That is Madame's rule. And I wouldn't want to be the one that challenged. Okay. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assist she didn't say that there wasn't any liaisons happening. Just that... Okay. Um... I never doubted myself. Finally coming together. Yeah. Okay. Is there something I am not seeing? Take a different approach if I am to uncover that it literally means there was no forced entry. I cannot see the logic in this. Perhaps a second look at of course, officer. How can I? Merci, mademoiselle. Your Okay, so... Well, I don't know why this keep mo keeps moving off. Peter didn't... Why? Stay. You will not get me any closer to my goal. Guest, I would say a moment of genius. Right. Okay, I have one more link that I need to make. Um, hmm. Okay. <sighs> um. You will not get me any 
Maybe not getting any closer. Okay, well. Order and method. That. Huh. Do we literally connect these two? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Why does this keep moving? I don't. Yeah. Okay, I have... Come, my little Britannic. We still have a path. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, there is something I am not seeing. I don't know what, though. Okay, it connects with this one. Um. Oh. Yeah. It means that there is no... Yep. There was no intruder at all. No, well, yeah. That... Is this going to turn out that the bracelet was actually, had just slid in, in between a couple of cushions on the couch? Okay, we're done here. I see a little, yeah, the check mark is there, so. Let's talk to Elizabeth again. I have conducted my initial inspection of the- Of course. Thank you, officer. Yep, all right. Well, let's go inside. Okay. Bonjour, madame. Who are you? You are not the commanding... No. Commanding but officer I you requested. Officer this will simply not do. I think Elizabeth... And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue... You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. And valuable to your daughter, no doubt. Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. The Viscount. It has not gone missing. Okay. I do not believe so. I know so. 
It was Floret, the maid servant. Maid servant, Floret. Okay. Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself. <laughs> yeah, especially to a measly officer. Ah, <laughs> uh, she just pissed him off from that. <laughs> hmm. I can't stop a break in that's already occurred, madam. <laughs> that's basically what he said. Uh. Yeah. Merci, you have been most helpful. I say sarcastically. All right. Each time you meet a new character, you unlock their profile. Okay. I can we move? Or are you just gonna Nope, you're gonna make me you're gonna make me look at it. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, that was random. This must be the Viscount. Wait. What's that on his lapel? It's a tie tack of some sort. Okay. Well, we can't star six nine, but let's take a look. That is a that's a good question, actually. Um, I have a feeling Madame has money troubles. I had a little talk with the mistress of the house. You are wasting those jewels. And what is your quick? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your pride. Only if you are prepared to take Floret as it is an offense to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. I must question if you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain. Merci, madame. You okay. Let's go upstairs then. Aha. It was not stolen. 
I have a feeling the Countess is having some money issues. Which, given this is after the Great War and there has been huge issues in Germany with, even though we are in Belgium, um, it's still generally in the same area and right next door. It used to be part of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. Uh, my guess is that inflation has caught a hold of the Countess and, or the Viscountess and she is having trouble and she is trying to frame one of her servants for something that she has done. Hmm. Okay. What is that on the floor? What? Why does that look like a fireplace poker? Because it does look like a fireplace poker. Does it look like there's a wallet on the floor? <sighs> Why can't I click on anything? Oh, there's broken glass. And I'm clipping my boots, clipping, clip, clipping right through it. Okay. Looks like there's something missing from that too. Or maybe we just have to talk to Angeline. Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. The officer of the law. But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and in. Ah, if we must. Merci. I will attempt to take up as little yeah. time as possible. The the viscountess stole the bracelet from her from her daughter and uh, was looking to hawk it. <clears throat> that's that that's my official theory. I'm sticking to that. All right. Some rats stole my bracelet this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside. My window was open when I returned. How else? It is of great value. Money was It was a gift from your father. Uh-huh. Very valuable. Yeah. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Mama had it insured with the others. Insured it with the others, huh? It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. She was with me all morning. Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet. She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return. Yeah. I... You have to do things in a particular order. You can't just walk around the room and investigate. You gotta talk to the person first. And then you gotta look at all the stuff. Yep, okay. Exit room, jewelry box. What's this? Hmm. 
Still can't look at the, yeah. Let's look in the last. Ah. And none of the books have been disturbed. Ah, that's that's something to point out, actually. Okay. Well, looks like we've got everything in the room. All right. Okay, we can zoom in like this. All right, good. First of all, I should not be surprised by my own skill. Yep. I must take a different approach. Nope, that is connected, actually. I know that it is. Okay. What a revelation. That wasn't. Oh. oh, there are no more links to be made. Okay. Okay. Thank you, madam. The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bracelet. Is one bracelet not enough? I have checked everywhere. You can ask Elizabeth if you don't believe me. It is only my bracelet that is missing. As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house. And I would not want to have discovered a further missing piece. You have been of great help. Yeah. Searching the water closet is not important. What is this? This kind of looks like some severe water damage. The house is in need of bad repair. Oh, there's a lot of damage down there, too. Yeah. Yep. Let's talk to Elizabeth. A 
we actually have to go around to the front to talk to the person. Okay. I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you. I feel better. Yeah. All out. Bien sûr. Rest assured, she will get the fair trial she deserves. I wonder. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. When I left, Madame was with Ferret in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. There must have been an accident. Madame Vandenbosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. It's behind the painting. Now I think of it, I don't recall seeing her memento tin. Memento tin? She holds her keepsake from her father and other gifts or tokens in it. She has such a wonderful collection. Merci, mademoiselle. Okay, it, the key could have been in the memento box too. Okay. Hmm. You can't do anything with it? Okay. Alright, let's have a little chat with Cassandra about her mementos. Cassandra. Oh, Angeline. Sorry, Cassandra's the mother. You have been of great help Mementos. Okay. Oh. All right, I've got another link somewhere. Um, Okay. I kind of think those two are connected, but whatever. <laughs> uh... Okay. Um. Okay, this is connected to something. I'm not sure what. Um. Hmm. Okay. Is there something I am not seeing? 
Yeah, that I knew. This and this? Yeah, no, nope. okay. Um, I must take a different approach if I am. Something else is missing. Nothing else was taken. Something else is missing. I must take a different approach if I am to uncover. But I <laughs> okay, the broken glass is connected to something. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Oh. Yeah, it's from the photograph of the gentleman. I thought I connected that already, honestly. Um... Um, okay. Elizabeth confirms spare key. I should not be surprised by my own skill. I, I was wondering, I was wondering if, because we mentioned the literature twice now, and it has to do with something, yeah, hidden in the Shakespeare books. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's talk to Evangeline. How should I know? I returned to the room and father was... So it is your father. Isn't he handsome? I remember what he means to Freud. He kept his... Mama never wants to talk about him. She says it's too hard, but she has... I'm sure that is not the case. It must have been very hard for her. I miss him every day. He always knew how to put a smile on my face. In the summer, father and I would play hide and seek while mama read. She always helped me though when I would stand in the gazebo, cover my eyes and count, and when I turned, he was nowhere to be seen. Mama would lower her boot and when I was hiding, it didn't matter where I was, he could never find me. I always thought I, I was a he always knew just what to say. I'm sure he would want you to be smiling today. He You have been of great help to my invest. You have been a great help, mademoiselle. Okay. <clears throat> Where did I poke around the Shakespeare books? It wasn't here. No, it was downstairs. Okay. Downstairs.
Oh, was it upstairs? Crap, was it upstairs? Maybe it was upstairs. The Shakespeare. The Shakespeare. Okay. Yeah. It was the pile of books next to the window. I'm confused. Nope, that's just the open window. Jewelry box. Cleaning rag. Fireplace. Hmm. Where the heck, where the heck did I find the Shakespeare clue? Oh, it was in reference to the gazebo. Oh, okay. It was in reference to the gazebo. She kept the key next to her heart. I just assumed a painting of her husband, but uh, where they have their happiest memories, I guess, is would also be would also be a thing. There's fireworks going off. Alright, let's head back to the garden and check this again. Why is it telling me? Well, I know I know I gotta talk to Elizabeth. It's telling me. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Certainly a professional. Madame is the one with the refined taste. And Lena. Aren't we all? Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I do enjoy it so. The passion, the passion, romance, the, romance, the, the murder. Madame has a copy murder, suicide. Madame has a copy upstairs Merci, in the main hall. Madame. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling that those books were important. We gotta go upstairs again. We have to find the copy. We gotta find the key. Uh Madame has refined tastes. Yes, I'm sure she does. Hmm. Key located. Okay. I wonder what would happen if we open the door without Cassandra. Uh-huh. Yeah. I must be able to reach The girl is guilty and shall pay the price for her crime. Everyone deserves to tell their son. The feeble account or not. Mwah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's just talk to her. Because we can't do anything in any of the rooms until we talk to the people inside them. Apparently. Please, officer. I did nothing wrong. You can't take me away. Please relax, my dear. If you have done nothing wrong, you have nothing to worry about. Relax. Apple. So you don't think I did it? As of this moment, I cannot say. But answering my question... I didn't even know it was missing till I got accused of taking it. Mad there must be some reasoning behind her accu- How could I have taken it? I've been in town most of the morning. I was even late coming back. 
They are never put to the way, so I had to set breakfast for the house and prepare it all myself. From what I understand of Madame Van den Bosch, she would not have been best pleased you were such... Not best pleased? I thought she would go to batter this to death. <laughs> She's going to beat me to death with a bad cat. I hid in the kitchen, <laughs> and then tried to stay out of sight in the lounge until breakfast was finished. Perhaps a brave move under the circumstances. And... Madame was squeezing a hole in the back of my apron with her glove. I daren't have moved. I must have stepped too slow, monsieur. My mother always said I uh, moved like the snail. Now I am being accused of avoiding my duty? Merci. I shall take everything you have told me into... Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. We know where it is. Okay, yeah, I, the lady of the house, uh, had, uh, Elizabeth do the thing to make it look like the bracelet had been stolen and it hadn't, so that they could collect the insurance money on it. Look, Piet. Anything to show you. Merci. I sh okay.
I must act on thought and sight. Mm. Okay. We've got a bunch of unpaid bills. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. The, the collection for the item was for the suit. Yeah. I went to go pick this up. Come on. What? Can I just... Can I just... Yep. Yeah, it's obvious that she picked this up. Okay. All right. Anything to see? Yes. Another thing on my to do. At whose request? It was a thing. Merci. I shall take everything you have. Yeah. Pardon, madame. Okay. The longer you are here... Maman is never happy with anything these days. Also, Florette does... And how does she react when she sees Florette? Maman has a temperament of the kitty cat. Florette has also... And that is how she responded today? She was shouting at her. And when Florette could not admit she took the bracelet, Maman really lost her... You have been of great... Ha Mm. 
Let's see if that helps a little bit. Oh, it might. Okay. My animation um, is just not syncing up particularly well with my mic. That might help a little bit. Okay. All right, let's go back and talk to Elizabeth and be like, what the frick? We're gonna, madam, we need to have a talk. The lounge? Oui. It's quite hard. Oh, how? Besides the terrible rain? No. I woke, began my duties with mademoiselle. I had already laid out a clean dress. And the bracelet was still there when you left the room for breakfast. I'm sure of it. I had it down before, mademoiselle. Madame is under a great deal of strain. Can't have been easy for her to lose her husband. And this morning, it sounds as though it was... It's not the first time I have had to stand and watch such treatment. I hate to say it. Madame's scolding of Barrette this morning was the worst I have seen her temper. I wish she could see that. Could there have been another reason for such a reaction? Madame was not happy Ferret was late. All through breakfast, Madame was watching how it appeared to me. Merci, mademoiselle. Your Okay. Is there something no. I am not seeing? Madame, my little Bretagne. It really? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Some have say a lucky guess. And the suit is for him. I yeah. never doubt it. All right, let's have Certainly another talk. How could I not be? I may not enjoy his other work, but how can one not be blown away by a... Especially being able to draw similarities between Verona's star cross... But I had... Mademoiselle, I am an officer of the law. Yeah. It's my duty to uncover the truth. You cannot hide the truth from her pure Poirot. Please, you cannot say anything to Madame. She is against staff relationships of any kind. In her eyes. But he means so much more to you. Oh, officer. Have faith at her. It was nothing more than pleasantries around the grounds. Though that's what she claims. I know it's not proper for a young lady to pursue a gent. Love shall <laughs> send professional <laughs> society. <laughs> oh. She initiated it. That's funny. Blush, but I knew that Madame would never give that up to me. If we wanted to continue, we would have the sunny evenings here are just so beautiful. I often find myself walking around the grounds after my daily duties are complete. He looks ever so handsome. And the poem he had prepared. Standing there beneath the warm glow of the falling sun. He asked for my hat. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I've been chattering on for so long. One should never apologize for such a charming and bewitching story of love. But you...
Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistant. Yeah, okay. All right, we've got a link here yet. I mean, this is connected to Romeo and Juliet, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it means. Yeah, I didn't think so. Valuables are insured. I must need a different okay. approach if I am to un. Ah. Uh. These are beginning to become. Order and method. That is the way to solve the problem. <sighs> okay. Nope. All right. That is the way. Okay. What? I... I did try to link them. Oh my god. Maybe I did it out of order again. Okay. <sighs> Cassandra's desperate for money and valuables are missing. Surprised by my own skills of yeah. deduction. Mm -hmm. I already uncovered Elizabeth's secret. Yeah, that wasn't too hard to figure out. Madame, we need to talk. Pardon me. Really, officer, you are wasting the Yes, madame. I am not going to dispute you um, with that one. Uh, I am, in fact, wasting both my time and yours. Oh, she's pissed. And this is how she repays me? I will not let her 
Mm, okay. Ah. Uh, I kind of want her to admit to this. So I am glad you have finally come to your senses and have seen me. It is challenging at times, I will admit. But I can assure you the Vanguard I'm sure tried my best. Oh, I got, I, got I, I broke through her wall. Okay. She is not to know about what we have discussed. You are accepting the hand you have been dealt and raising a fine young mademoiselle. That is... And you have done nothing but bother my staff and my family. I cannot stand here any longer. Yep. I literally broke down her emotional barrier. Okay. Let's take a look here. Oh, uh, let's see. No. I must take a different approach. Yeah, okay. Come, my little gray hand. Okay. Okay. I do. Ah, uh, okay. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming. But it it proves that she didn't have time to do it. Okay. I must act on okay. And fast. It, but it proves she didn't have time to to take the bracelet. She was being watched. <sighs> okay. Nope, any it's not it either. Goal. Okay, fine. Um, you're gonna give me a hint this time. Well, really? The pieces of the puzzle are finally. Okay. 
across here. Yep. Yep. Okay. I must act on thought and I don't do we have I hate that you have to do all of these in order because it's like wait I, I tried to link these two and you wouldn't let me link these two um Okay, I knew it had to connect here somewhere. Another footstep. Yeah. I never. Yeah. Done everything there, I've done everything there, I've done everything there, at least everything there for now. Become clearer. Yep. It was probably <laughs> probably tossed the fricking bracelet in the fireplace. That's my guess. Uh, okay, I gotta talk to Elizabeth and Evangeline. Okay. Certainly, officer. Why, yes, officer! I misplaced it after wiping the stain from Madame Wat- You're not the first to say it. 
Hatte ich noch drin? Merci, mademoiselle. Yep. Daughter. Actually, the daughter. The daughter hid the bracelet. It's in the fireplace. It's all covered with ashes and soot. Bonjour, the longer madame. you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bread. You have been on great cap. Oh wait, what? Okay. Talk to Florette. Oh, I thought I needed to talk to. My bad. My bad. Pardon, madame. Excusez-moi. I keep wanting to just walk down the damn stairs and not click a button. Uh, I, this clock does look a little weird, doesn't it? That's not my imagination. It, it does. It looks a little weird. But whatever. We never used to be so very rich. When the Viscount was alive, I would have gone long ago, Monsieur. But my family can't afford to pay. I was not aware you were supporting your family. Papa lost his job at the factory just before he was taken. So Mama had to work even more. When I joined the Van den Bosch house, the Viscount was very kind. He gave me some extra in my first pay cut. Enough to keep the landlord from kicking Mama out at night. No one had ever been that nice before. I didn't know what to say, but he even let me to go home hmm. and meet Mama and my brothers at Christmas with a food parcel from the kitchen. Mama said she had but always been helpful. Even before he left for good, Papa wasn't around much. When I walked in Mama's house, everything seemed so much smaller. I must have got too used to the size of this house. The we didn't the want house much. It was simple. It was home. Yeah. But then you come back to the rich family and your, or, uh, potentially rich family. And, uh. Someone should tell Madame that. Not that she'd care. I will uncover the truth of what happened today, Mademoiselle. That. I shall take everything you have told me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Confirmed her innocence. Okay. I have I have a link in here somewhere. All right. Um Nope. Here. No! That is the way to solve the problem. <sighs> or maybe it's here. What a yep. revelation. Mm-hmm. What's in the chimney, madam? I think it might be easier to use the directional pad. Okay, maybe a little easier to. Yep. Now I gotta investigate the chimney. And go, ha ha, here is the bracelet. Mm 
Yeah. Maybe the toggle is better. Since I don't need to use all my buttons, I wonder if using a single Joy-Con would be preferable. I'll try that. Mm-hmm. Bonjour, madame. The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my breath. You have been of great help. Do you, uh, do I really have to go through this? Okay. Come, my little gray friend. Oh, it's up, it's above this. Okay, it's a straight line. Got it. I should not be surprised by my own skill. We know why. We know why. They don't have any money. Oh, everything's been done. Okay. <sighs> the longer you are here, the further the criminal go. You have been of great help. Uh, okay. Who do I have to talk to then? Do I actually have to talk to Cassandra? What is happening? She's probably in the garden. Certainly, officer. Ah. Uh. Everything will be revealed in of course. No, no, we have to do the get everybody together in the lounge. Let's go through the events that occurred on this day. She was gone past me not long ago, and I've not seen her Very well. Under usual circumstances I would wait. But I think we have spent enough time on this matter, Nespa. Very well. We shall have to proceed. This morning started like any other. 
my usual ordinary patrol, and... A crime I did... That I shall come to. I began my investigation outside, but it was not long before I realized there were no... Su Flores, your time here at the house has not always been the easiest for you. I do what Madame tells me. And to the highest standard, I presume... Madame's standards are very high. Uh, you would at least expect Madame's standards are very way. high. I Not do my best. Monsieur? Monsieur? I to how poorly Madame Van den Bosch treats you. You are at her beck and call. That is Maman you're talking about. Just... It is nothing but the truth I speak, Mademoiselle. Mm. All the while, Mademoiselle stands by and does not even notice such cruelty. I... Uh, perhaps you thought it was time they deserved... <laughs> Stop trying to put words in her mouth. I am merely giving her a voice. One that has been... Maybe I do think she deserves it. She had the world handed to her or A motive begins to rear its head. You're just trying to get me to admit to something. Well... Uh, allow me to finish. I am sure you will want to hear what follows. I was only trying to help you here. You must have known how Madame would have reacted to your late return, especially with her prior treatment of you. She's angry at whatever I do. But nonetheless, you were willing to help a colleague, a friend, knowing what the repercussions... And that show of loyalty to your friend has been the thing that proved your innocence. I, I do love these moments where where you gather everybody into into the parlor or the den or the smoking room or wherever. Dining room sometimes. You can go, I have concluded my investigation. And here's what we know. Monsieur? Because of such willingness to help, you were delayed in... You had no viable way of taking the bracelet from Mademoiselle Angeline's room. The I told you! Maybe it's It is evident not even she can ignore. Which then... Mademoiselle Elisabeth, you have been with the Van den Bosch family... That is correct. You have grown close with both ladies of the house and your fellow members of the house. Of course. And I certainly hope they feel... I have returned. Elizabeth, what is he talking about? I am referring to the lengths Mademoiselle Elizabeth has gone to to remain in your... It is Madame's house. She can enforce whatever rules she chooses. Even if they are going against the very nature and cornerstone of man. I still do not understand. Perhaps that is best for everyone. It is neither my place nor my want to make... Oh. Besides, it was not that story that cleared Mademoiselle Elizabeth's name. Rather... Correct. But she was not here for most... But when she was, more precisely while preparing the table in the lounge, she noted that against regularity you arrived alone for breakfast. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. It means that I found myself with two suspects with potential, but with a lack of opportunity, I was left with only one. You can't believe I would hide my own bracelet. Oh. Huh. <sighs> the first one is a very Sherlockian answer. Hmm. These two are more Poirot. But is it is it in the spirit of the game to be a little more I don't know, even Poirot was like, I'm I'm wasting my time here. You know what? The masquerade has gone long enough. How dare you speak to me like that? You have no idea what you're talking about. You can't. 
don't actually believe I would hide my own jewelry. If you didn't, explain to me how your memento tin with the bracelet inside came to be lodged inside the chimney of your bedroom fireplace. You have no proof I put it there. Besides you being the only one in the room alone, even after finding the bracelet, I still did not know why you threw it until I contemplated why Madame was selling so many heirlooms. You had no right to snoop through our house in the first place. When it is part of my investigation, I have every right, Mademoiselle. The unpaid bills and final notice from the telephone. Maman can do what she wants with her art. That means nothing. When there was no more art to sell, what then? You could not... Hmm. So... You staged a burglary pretending uh, it had been taken, preventing... It actually wasn't in cahoots with mom after all. See, I actually just assumed price. that they were just... It was in... They were just stayed... They were both just staging all of this just to collect insurance money. She didn't think about me at all. She was going to take my bracelet and sell it off. It could have just ended up on some old wrinkly wrist. I didn't think Mama would blame her. I didn't think she would do anything. But she did. And somehow that evidently didn't cross your mind. When... Mama can't know what I have done. She will be furious. But Mademoiselle Florette will be proved innocent. And no crime has been committed. So I see no reason. It is time you consider the consequences of your... And now, you must face them. Investigation investigated Maman, you're home of course i am and i told someone that was major i can assure you from what i have heard you are far the missing bracelet has been found i am well aware that the maid I am sure Madame Van den Bosch has informed you of her suspicion. Excuse me. After conduct. I certainly hope you are not. I'm sorry, Maman. He's right. Florette is innocent. I just. Shh, girl. I will not have you guilting me into taking the blame for that. was a Poirot. Madame Van den Bosch was forced to make her way to inform me, alert. Major, with all due respect, she was impeding. This may be how some officers act in the city, but here, we should... Insubordination like this will not... As the ranking officer, I have conducted my investig... Ranking officer? Ha! <laughs> you are an auxiliary officer. You have little authority over anyone. Let alone, out of what I have heard of your past in the city, I'm sure he would look upon today's events as another. Really? Oui. Now I suggest you do your duty and escort the maidservant to the station where she can be formed right away. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. I guess. I am sorry, mademoiselle. This is not the outcome I expected. Mama was right. We'll always pay the price for the Mama was right. We'll always pay the price for the upper class actions. You know what? This this is the outcome that should have happened. It still kind of pisses me off though. Because she's she's not wrong. Like the 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 Viscountess was going to have her arrested no matter what. Realistically. But still. I'm I'm still peeved by this ending. I wonder I wonder what other endings there are for some of these tales. 
I don't feel then guilty of being... A crime that was never committed. Once the truth is explained... Rosaline did not intend for you to be arrested. Surely you know her better than that. I should have known better than to expect anything else. Justice and fairness don't reach the likes of you. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the rich are gonna rich. They, they just are. What you saw today was not justice. In the eyes of the law, you are innocent and have been harshly treated. But that doesn't help my employment, does it? That I cannot say. Madam, you were not going to be employed by this woman for any longer anyway. I had to break it to you. I mean, th this is actually Poirot right here. That's why he's no longer a cop. Because just the absolute BS involved. He, weirdly, he is, he is very, he's, he's very, uh, defund the police. <laughs> he tried to make changes from within and they went, nope. And he went, well, screw this then, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Collectible unlocked the bracelet. Nah, sweetie, you were going to lose your job no matter what. That woman was going to That woman was just going to stop paying your salary. If you, if you stayed around any longer. <laughs> well, that was chapter one, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. So how did we do? Are you, are we going to get a score on this or how is this going to go? I legitimately don't know. Like this game just fired up and started playing. I have no idea. Is this... The impression you made is something that I've said with me since that day. It compelled me to reconsider the spoilt young lady I would have inevitably become and helped shape me into the woman I was to be. You made me see the childish and selfish girl in me that did not consider the consequences of her actions or how they may affect others. Although Maman may see the events of that day differently, I believe the compassion you showed for our mate Florette as well as the draft to uncover the truth and accept new alternatives, was a testament to your character and professionalism. Okay. Although I wish it were under different circumstances, your assistance is once again required, and I hope you will consider this as my formal request for your service. Huh. This forthcoming weekend was due to be one full of joy and happiness at the announcement of my engagement to Guillaume de Mio whom I love dearly, bringing together two illustrious families, but it has been shadowed by deceit, extortion, and blackmail. The Van de Bosch name is being held to ransom by a mysterious party, and I am afraid I do not know who I can and cannot trust. We are holding a small gathering to celebrate our exciting news with what Mama calls the dignified elite, those that are well respected and held in high regard in both our close inner circle and society. Our private matters have always remained just that. So I fear one of those invited may be the person who is out to ruin our name, but for reasons I cannot fathom. I have enclosed a first class rail ticket for you to join us for the announcement and having contacted your superiors and the correct authorities to request your assistance, which they were more than happy to grant me, I shall expect your arrival with great anticipation. There shall be a carriage waiting for you at the station to bring you directly to Menevan House. I thank you in advance in our time of crisis. Yours respectfully, Angeline van der Bosch. Huh. 
That was a complicated storyline. I was never... Oh! The, oh! Oh! Uh, we're still involved with the family? What? Okay. All right. Um we're still in chapter one. My name is Hercule Poirot. Ah, Detective Poirot. We have been expecting you. Merci. I don't think I would have lasted much longer out here before turning into an icicle. <laughs> Look at all his bags. <laughs> well, <sighs> I am Archibald Stoke, the head butler. Please accept my... Do not trouble yourself on my behalf. I am sure I am more than capable of finding my room. I shall straighten my... Ah, there is no rush, detective. Dinner will not be served for some... Once you have settled in, I am sure that Miss Angel will be happy to see you. She has... You will be staying on the first floor. I believe your room is one of the... West side yes. of the house. I am sure... Look at that luggage. It's a lot of luggage. Hmm. Okay. First floor, west wing. Okay. The salon. A grand reveal. Hmm. I mean, I don't. I'm I'm not entirely certain what the west east north south i don't exactly have a compass on here to tell me where's what <laughs> that's warm for a second by the fireplace oh that sounds good honestly piani <laughs> Oh, Poirot. First floor. It's a good question, actually. Oh. Except nobody was here painting. Well, can we look at the painting, please? Thank you. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Where is my room then? You told me the first floor. We're on the first floor. Ah, <sighs> okay. Ooh, we have a ledger. Visitor's book. Oh. Male guests are in the east wing. Hold on. Hold on. Did, didn't Archibald just tell me west wing? 
I I am remembering that correctly, right? Hold on, let me check my brain. Yeah. Yeah, where is that? Where is this? Order and method. No, no. These two are connected. This something's not right. The men are in the east wing, but my room has been put placed in the west wing. I was not imagining things. Okay. Something is already not right. And you told me the first freaking floor. And let's see if this telephone works. I did not actually. Wow, okay. I wasn't anywhere close to that door. Oh, we have someone new. Bonjour. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Detective. <laughs> I hope you're not here for me. Not he looks like a I'm pop wearing. star. What should I be? Ha! Ha ha! Not often you meet a detective with a... Then again, everyone here looks like they're from a Korean drama. You'll be lucky. I've been waiting for... Ah, I see. The preparation... If I had seen them, maybe I would. Something or other? Let's Something or rather, that's rather vague. Part. Would you care to elaborate on what I'd rather not? You're the detective, isn't that your job? May we, I suppose. I shall take up no more of your time. What? Wait, is the first is this not the first floor? Or are we considering this the ground floor? And the first floor is literally the first upper floor of the house. I'm confused, honestly. Okay. Whatever. No, I don't. We got little dust motes floating around. Oh, what's that? Aha. Gold flick join tripped. One marble buff. Gold purchase 650 francs. Hmm. I'm sure. Is this my room? No. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Ah, finally found my room. Okay, so the first floor uh, means the first floor not ground floor got it okay can we play the gramophone oh i want to play the gramophone huh. oh oh my god did they did they just when when Oh. Oh, okay, that's funny. I, I wonder if they just put M. Poirot and someone thought it was Mademoiselle. Oh, okay. That's funny, actually. That would be funny. That would actually be really funny. Uh, what's outside? Screen. Huh.
<sighs> Cat is absolutely losing her mind. Everyone's upstairs. Nobody's downstairs. How dare? How dare? All right. Is it? Okay. Come with me, a lucky guess. I must need a different approach if I am to uncover the truth. All right, uh, I must act on thought and maybe. maybe this comes over here. You will not get me any closer. No. Okay. All right. What? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know both of these doors are locked. They must be locked for a good reason. It's like, boy. All right, let's see if we can find Angeline. I have a feeling she's probably going to be upstairs, upstairs, but let's see. Oh, we've got another room. I don't, we don't have need to venture into this part yet, just yet. Yeah. Does a mouth form? Hmm. You would probably not do well, Poirot. You are a very squishy human. Nothing? Nope. Huh. Probably a ballroom. Sadly appears to have water damage. Interesting. I mean, collecting damaged art is actually a good way to have really fine items in your household, huh. but paying less. Well, well, then where is Angeline, honestly? 
He's got to be here somewhere now. All right. Where is she? I didn't think there was a door over here. It, the dining room or something has got to be opened at this point. No, well, it's still locked. Nope, it's still locked. Don't suppose you know where Angelina is. I shall take up no more. Okay. Well, is this gonna tell me where she is? actually going to tell me. Okay. But where is she is my question. Like <laughs> I cannot find her. <laughs> oh. There there must be some room that I have not one of the other bedrooms? It's one of the other bedrooms. Now that I've gone to my room, I might be able to knock on one of the other doors. This this looks so Sims though. I just Yeah. This is my room. Me. It's allegedly my room anyway. Do I have like... Nope. Okay. Can't even investigate the beard. I want to turn on the gramophone. Where the absolute heck? Aha. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of killing me here. Don't need to go that way. Don't need to go that way. Don't need to get. Well, where? Where is everybody? Like, legitimately, are you going to let me go upstairs now? Where? Where is everybody? Seriously. This is kind of crazy. Yeah. Where, where is Angeline? Seriously, where is Angeline? Do I, do, do I? 
Yeah. Do I contemplate the fireplace again? No. Okay. <sighs> okay. I can't imagine I go back outside. Maybe I do. Because I can't find her any other way. Unless maybe I have to take up my luggage. No. Check the welcome book again? No. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think so. What? Talk to Angeline. Where is Angeline? L literally, where is she? I don't. Okay. Uh, I trust this finds you well. It has been many years since our paths have crossed, and while I am sure your recollection of events may differ from mine, I hope that receiving this letter has not rekindled a sense of animosity toward myself or the Van den Bosch name. The impression that you have stayed with me since that day compelled me to reconsider the spoilt young lady that I would have inevitably become and helped shape me into the woman I wish to be. You made me see the childish and selfish girl in me that I did not consider the consequences of her actions or my, how it may affect others. The maman. I see the events of that day differently. I believe the compassion you showed for our maid Florette as well as the drive to uncover the truth and accept no alternative was a testament to your character and your professionalism. Uh, next? There we go. 
Although I wish it were under different circumstances, your assistance is once again required. I hope you will consider this as my formal request for your service. This forthcoming weekend was due to be one full of joy and happiness at the announcement I gave it to uh, Gideon Demir, whom I love dearly, bringing together two illustrious families. It has been shattered by deceit, extortion, and blackmail. The Vonden is being held ransom by a mysterious party. I'm afraid I don't know who I can and cannot trust. We are holding a small gathering to celebrate our exciting news with, a mom, without, with what Maman calls the dignified elite. Those that are well-respected and held in high regard to close circles in society. Our private matters must always remain that, so I fear one of the invited may be the person who is up to ruin our name, but for reasons I cannot fathom. It is suggested that there be a representation for law enforcement. Oh, I know, I know why, honey. Because apparently... Uh, he, he has either been married before or there are other members of the family that would probably stand to inherit if he doesn't, if, if your fiance doesn't marry and have children, uh, because that way they, they get, they get the cashy money. Uh, as soon as, as soon as, uh, as soon as, uh, male heirs are born, that's it. They get everything. So yeah, that honestly, that's the first thing that came, comes to mind, but okay. Uh, I have endorsed a first-class rail ticket. Of course you have. Poirot would not travel any other way. Uh, first, this is, there is not another detective that I wish to put my complete faith and trust in. Our family is in need of your help. Only you could provide yours respectfully. Okay. Okay. Again, where is she? I cannot find her. Hmm, there's something I'm missing. There's legitimately something I am missing. Maybe there we go. Maybe I have to really zoom in. No, oh, I mean, matches an apple. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> nope. Nope. Bowl of fruit. Nope. Okay. At this point, I'm actually tempted to just look it up. 
because what the heck. The only other thing I haven't checked again is this. Yeah. What? What? Not that. The bear head. Oh. Yeah. There's no need to venture. What the, what the hell is happening here? Why can I not find... There, there isn't another door, like, hidden. Huh. Can't go upstairs yet. Okay. This is kind of crazy. I'm actually tempted to just look this up. Because I am missing something. It looks as though I might be out for a walk. I shall take up no more of it. Oh, we have a we have a link now. All right, so I did something. I touched something. Order and method. That is the. Way. Different approach if I am Do I have something illuminated yet? No. Oh come on. I literally don't know what is going to trigger the next thing, guys. I really don't. I really don't. Uh Hints. Hints. There we go. Yep. We have... I, I have a woman's room. I I have... Yeah. I know. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Yep. Something yep. Must be yet. Okay, let's go back to my room. I, for some weird reason, something did not click the first time. Did not actually continue in the, in the actual game. I don't know what it was, but something, because I touched everything. I inspected everything. Something, something triggered, something triggered a new item in my thought process. Maybe it would, maybe you have to look at certain things in a certain, oh, you know, that would, that would, that's actually going to get irritating. If I actually have to look at things in a room in a certain order at pillow. Uh. Hugo would like to, con Ms. Conrad to speak with him ASAP. Let's just recheck everything all over again. 
we might have something on the table now. Nope. Okay. All right, let's check the luggage. Check the window. Check the changing screen. Whoop. Stand back from the changing screen a little bit, because apparently we can't just stand on it. Okay, is that enough? Wrong button. Expect the ground floor hall. Okay. <sighs> You're going to make me look at the book again, aren't you? Even though I know it says men are to be in the east wing, I was told that my room was in the west wing. I know what it says. This is it. Ugh, okay. Oh, oh, we got somebody new. Bonjour. Gideon! Welcome. Allow me to fiancé to Mademoiselle Angeline. Angeline spoke so highly of you. It sounds as though you are the man that can say I am, monsieur. She tries her best to treat everyone else. It's quite understandable. She is Angeline has spoken with her mother. She has asked if there is anything that could be useful. And what are your thoughts on the matter? I do not want to overstep my position. But if there is something that could damage not only the Vanden book, that is a very diplomatic answer. You that is a met, very Madame. diplomatic answer. You know it is best. I wish to know anything that. Yeah. Mostly friends of the family, a couple of business associates of mine. With regards to the blackmail, business Can associates. Or okay. Should they be considered suspect? Angeline is struggling to trust anyone right now. But Madame Vandenberg, as it is her house... Well, and they will all be staying in the house? Yes, it is a rather full house. All six guests will be staying on this floor. I will be sure to speak to them all. Uh, however, I will keep my identity and purpose for being here hidden. I'm afraid that ship may have already sailed. Once the Comtesse gets wind of something, a detective coming to the house for it. You are very observing. Be wise to keep that perceptive nature. I'm sure you are correct, but uh, I'd like to account to your feelings. So he has been a good friend to Madame Vandenborg over the years, but that does not make him a good man or suited uh -huh. to involve himself. Yeah. Merci, monsieur. I shall leave you to. Pro Just make sure there isn't anyone else on this floor. There were some other rooms over here. Alright, I don't see anybody. He seemed to know that I was in this wing though, which is curious. Reread that book just in case. Because it said to investigate the lower floor. Then again, did it mean investigate the lower floor again because something new was on it? Or just to 
confirm stuff that I already looked at. Detective, how wonderful you are here. Uh, watching from my carriage window, I saw the beautiful countryside and rolling hills. I'm truly thankful you could make it here at Steph Street. No thanks are required, mademoiselle. When one is requested personal... Yes, Maman has quite a collection, although they are not... The painting of the saints in particular, it is quite exquisite. The one in the hall? If you look above your bedroom door, you will see one of their names. Gideon and I only wanted a small dinner to celebrate our engagement, but Maman was adamant on throwing this party. Their efforts did not go unnoticed, from me at least. They have been with us for so... Only Maman, Elizabeth, my daughter. And what is your fiancé's opinion? He thinks me foolish for paying the first one if there is no secret to reveal. But you believe there may be a secret lurking? One that Maman... She tells me nothing, even though I'm a grown woman on the verge of marriage. Perhaps it is out of love that she protects you. It is in every... Not a single person. The guests that will be joining us tonight, they are ones... Yeah. Who I have no idea who would be blackmailing us. I hope okay. They are all close friends of... Friends and colleagues. Gideon has spoken positively. Oh, detective. I she was quite adamant at the police station that she would not be returning to the house. Maman demanded that Elizabeth pack up everything she had. But I could... I wanted to contact her, but I had no ab... Surely Madame must have had some information when she... You saw how Maman was. As soon as Florette was out of sight of the house, it was as though she had never been there at all. And your Mama's choice to ignore her accountability for the girl stopped you so... Please, detective, you cannot make me feel any worse than I already do. If I could go back and, and live that day again... Merci, mademoiselle. Huh. Huh. Curious. Okay. Well, I actually do need to stop playing. I've been doing this for four and a half hours, so. Um, you know, you know the drill. Like, subscribe. Uh, follow to get notifications and in and, and all that nonsense okay bye